Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to convert delta into equivalent star. As we have discussed that sometimes a slight change in the circuit may result into a, a many series and parallel connections available. For that you have to identify star and delta and how to convert a star into delta or delta into star. So here we are going to see a derivation where a delta circuit is given and that delta circuit you can convert into equivalent star. So the heading is derivation of a delta to star. So when delta circuit is given. ABC points are given and I will consider this value of resistance is RA, this as RB and this as RC. So, it is a delta connection. Now, this delta I have to convert into equivalent star. So, I will first draw how the star will look like. So, actually the one more point will get added. So, I can say let us take this point is getting added and then between A and N I will have a one resistor, between C and N I will have one more resistor and between N and B I will have third resistor. So, the, the circuit will look like this. This is a point will get added in a star which is N. And I will give the name to the resistors. Let us take R1, R2, and R3, which is the equivalent star of this delta. Whenever I am having two points, so always I will get only one register, but whenever I am having a three points, the equivalent register will be three. For example, if I take this circuit and I find out what is RAB, which is equivalent resistance between A and B. I will get this RB and this RC will come into series which will become parallel with this RA. So, for equivalent resistance between A and B, I can say it is equal to RA parallel with series combination of RB and RC. If I simplify this, multiplication of two resistors divided by addition of these two resistors. So, I will give this as equation number 1. Similarly, equivalent resistance between B and C, between B and C this RC and RA will come in series and that will be parallel with RB. And if I apply the concept of parallel connection, I will get multiplication of two resistors divided by addition of these two. And finally, equivalent resistance between C and A will be C and A. RC will come in parallel with this series combination of RA and RB.
मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ टू डिवाइडेड बाय एडिशन ऑफ टू नाउ सेम इक्वलन सर्किट आई एम कंसिडरिंग ओवर हियर विच इज इक्वलन सर्किट ऑफ दिस डेल्टा टू स्टार सो पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट विल रिमेन सेम ए बी सी सो आई कैन से फॉर दिस स्टार equivalent resistance between a and b simply for this star it is very simple a and b c is of not interest and r3 is connected to this c open circuited redundant so it will be r1 plus r2 equation number 4 similarly equivalent resistance b and c a is redundant r1 is redundant so i can say it will become equal to r2 plus r3 and finally between c and a C and A, B is redundant, so R2 is redundant. I can have so in this case, whether it's a star or delta, I am getting this six resistors, okay, which is equivalent between A and B. Here also it is between A and B, B and C, B and C, C and A, C and A. So using this six equation, we have to get. How this R1 is related to the RB, RC, RA? How this R2 is related to RA, RB, RC? And how this R3 is related to RA, RB, RC? Now, let's see how to get R1, R2, R3 in terms of RA, RB, and RC. If I equate equation number one and four. I will get equation number seven as R A into R B plus R C divided by R A plus R B plus R C equal to R one plus R two. Similarly, equating two and five, I will get. And finally, equating three and six, I will get equation number nine. So these are the three equations which are of our interest, and I have to get R one, R two, and R three, which is a combination of R A, R B, and R C. So out of the three equations, I can convert that into two equations. So what I will do, equation seven minus equation eight. So if I do this exercise, I will get left hand side like this equals. If I solve. R2 R2 will get cancel and here R1 minus R3 as equation number 10 now using this equation number 10 and equation number 9 okay i can get the value of R1 now we get one more equation equation number 10 and if i add equation 9 and 10 i will get this will be the left hand side of the new equation equals r3 r3 get cancel and finally i'll get 2 times r1 if i see properly some of the terms are getting cancelled for example rb rc rb rc 
then R A R B R A R B and R C into R A or R A into R C two times will get added. So two to get cancelled, and finally I can say this R one. is equal to R A into R C divided by R A plus R B plus R C. Let us go back to the original circuit. Now, in the original circuit, I have this delta present R A, R B, R C and equivalent star I get R 1, R 2 and R 3. If I see properly, this R1 is nothing but a register which is connected to point A. In original delta circuit for this point A, R A and R C were connected. So, how you can remember this? R1 is a register which is connected to point A. For this point A, before converting into star for the original delta, R A and R C were connected. So, you can say registers which are connected to the point A, its multiplication divided by addition of all the three registers. So, in same way, I can write R2. Let us go back to the circuit once again. R2 is the resistance which is connected to point B. In original delta, for point B, R A and R B were connected. So, it is very simple, I can get R2 as multiplication of R A and R B divided by addition of all the registers connected in delta. And finally, R3, let us go back to the circuit. R3 is the register in star connected to point C. For this point C in delta, RC and RB were connected. So, the multiplication of RB and RC divided by addition of RA, RB and RC will be the equivalent register in star. So, whenever you are converting delta to star, you will get a equivalent registers like this R 1, R 2 and R 3, which is nothing but multiplication of two registers, which were initially connected to that particular point divided by addition of all the registers connected in delta. So, remembering this concept will avoid the nomenclature R A, R C, R B like that because henceforth whenever you are solving a numerical at that time we will not have any nomenclature like R A, R B, R C or R 1, R 2, R 3. So, somehow you have to remember the formula like this multiplication of two registers divided by addition of three register. Okay. Here is one specification. Suppose, All the registers are of the same value, which is nothing but R. So, obviously, in corresponding star, you will get all R1, R2, and R3 of the same value given by R by 3. Many a times we are supposed to use this because most of the time it may happen in a problem that registers are given in delta or star and having the same value at that time instead of using all this formula better you can simply use the formula R by 3 and that will be the register R 1, R 2, R 3 connected in equivalent star. So, here we have come to an end of a derivation where we have converted a delta connected circuit into equivalent star. Thank you.